Audio Jungle. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're watching Review It with me. So guys, today's episode is about a series called Who Killed Sarah? It's on Netflix, of course, and it has two seasons at the moment. The first season had about 10 episodes, the second had eight. So it's a Spanish, basically, Spanish series, and obviously it's converted into English in the sense that there's voiceovers that speak in English. So your money heist vibes, basically. I know those can be annoying. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that the words are not matching the mouths. <laughs> But it's actually really good, hey, and very mysterious, you know, it's a crime mystery, a bit of drama, but it's still. So just to give you a brief overview of like the, the series for both season one and season two, um, the main characters are Alex Guzman, uh, Sarah, of course, Guzman, Delacianos, and the name is not coming to me right now. I don't know why. But one of this this guy works with the Lacianos. He's almost like their almost like their fixer per se. So someone that makes sure that things run smoothly in the business. You know, any secrets that are there, he makes sure that they're kept. And you know, all the dark nitty gritty things that have to do with people that are doing bad things. So what basically happens is the Guzmans are not the wealthiest family, and basically their daughter, Sarah, falls in love with one of the wealthiest families who are the Lacianos. And I think it's, this takes place in Mexico. So now the Lacianos, um, the parents are very like classist and stuff. So they're just like, why would you go for this young girl that's from a poor family? I mean, I get that you're best friends with the brother who's Alex, but like out of all the people, really? So it's just like a very classist thing going on but no one cares you know everyone does their part and now they're at this family resort type of place it's vibes you know but you can see there's tension amongst people of which obviously only gets explained as the show goes on and you find that the sarah girl dies i'm not spoiling anything because the trailer shows her dying and the whole hence the name who killed sarah Duh. So the point is now we're trying to figure out what happened, you know, who did this, like who's involved, what's happening. So now Alex is the person that's investigating because I mean, after the sister died, nothing really happened. Like something happened, but not really. Like, so what I'm saying is justice was not really served, but something big happened to Alex. And now he's after the Lacianos and he wants to revenge them and this revenge is on another label because he's planned this to the t for almost i don't know maybe it's been 10 years now that sarah's been dead because now sarah passed away when they were all like young teenage boys now these are grown-ass men they're out here living their best lives the the sons of lacianos are you know owning casinos the other one he's being an outcast because he's gay the other one well it's a sister the daughter the youngest one she's like studying abroad in another place so you can understand family, family dynamics it's a lot so now alex is on some yo when it's supposed to be the opening of the of the casino he's on some y'all need to know that the lesianos killed sarah and i'm gonna prove it to you guys these are evil people yo it starts to shake now that guy that i was telling you about that works with the lesianos that fixes things now starts trying to investigate to find where this Alex guy is. They have hitmen, they have bodyguards, they have, you name it. So do you understand? We're dealing with serious people, we're dealing with criminals, basically. So now guys, it gets hectic, you know, now you start finding out secrets about Sarah. That's just literally all that's happening. Secrets and secrets and secrets about Sarah. And like, in season one, you convince that it's the Lacianos. Then in season two, then you start thinking that maybe she did this to herself like it gets really messed up so there's a lot about like suicide basically well yeah kind of then there's a lot of like mental illness issues that are dealt with um adultery to the next level i don't even think oh my gosh like 
I doubt you within the family. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yo, you see when that happens. And then just like finding out that actually not everything is what it seems. And maybe Alex has been going about this the wrong way. And then also finding out that we think we know who killed Sarah at the end of season two, but actually nah. We still don't know, but we know. I don't know if you get it, what I'm saying. Like it's messed up. It keeps you on your toes. It's interesting. It's the one. So guys, I think that's enough. I think I've given you something, you know, a little bit to just wreck with. All you know is that the Lucianos are evil, technically. They did Alex bad, well, they did him dirty. And Sarah was going through her own things, but in the whole process of this, she got killed. And then, what else can you take from this? That we think we know who killed Sarah, but we actually don't. So that's what I'm gonna say for today. Y'all go check this out on Netflix. I thank you, Danko. Please, it's amazing. It's dope. It keeps you watching, it keeps you on your toes. And I think that's the nice thing about these Spanish series, movies. They're very good, I've noticed. And they always have plot twists for days. So you're not gonna be disappointed. Please, once you've watched it, comment in the section below. If you've watched it before, let me know what you think of it. Did you think it was good? It wasn't good. I'm open to all and any opinions. You know me, guys. And yeah, guys, just follow me on all my social media pages. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, meaning subscribe. In the bottom, below, wherever in the, yeah, on that page. You know what I mean? Like, comment, please, guys. Let's keep these subscribers going up. Let's keep this channel flowing. Give me that energy. Give me that zaza, that reason to keep going. Thank you. I know I haven't been consistent. I'm not going to have this chat again because life happens. Y'all are living. I'm living. So we keep it moving. All right? Thanks. So thank you so much, guys. Have an amazing day, evening, whatever time zone you are in right now when you're watching this. And you yeah, guys, don't forget to stay updated, stay posted, stay relevant, and stay on. Bye.